Oh, oh my gosh, dude, that tumor is huge. Jeez, that doesn't look good, man. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're here at my koi pond, and we got something crazy. I had just noticed yesterday with one of my fish that one of them has like a tumor of some sort. So we're gonna try and catch them out today with a net and just see what's going on with them. I'm not sure if this tumor is like life-threatening or not, but that's what we're gonna do today. You guys are gonna help me out and uh, we're gonna come together and find out what this is and what is wrong with my fish. There he is right down there. It's that orange and black one right there on that side. Look, you can see it. Hold on, wait for him to turn. There it is, you can kind of see it. Wait, there we go. See that big lump on his belly? It's like some sort of tumor, see? I've got no idea what it is, so yeah. We're gonna catch him out today and inspect it and try to find out what it is. We also have added a lot of new fish to the koi pond recently, so we'll do a little update on all of those guys. We caught some iridescent sharks and put them in here, some little babies. And I always know where to find them because they're always in this corner. So, oh yeah, there's one. There's one right there. There he is. They're doing good, all four of them. It's crazy, they're always in this corner, so whenever I wanna, you know, check them out and see how they're doing, I just go to that corner and they're there. We also added a rope fish. You guys have let me know that it is a rope fish. We caught that in the fish trap as well and we put it in here. I haven't seen the rope fish yet since we put him in here, but I think he's just hiding under a rock or something. I don't think that fish is just gonna swim around. We're probably not gonna see him much, but it's just cool to have him in here, you know? Just, just we know he's in there. Before I shove a net in there and make everyone upset, we're gonna go ahead and feed them so they're nice and happy. All right, guys, here we go. Here's your breakfast. All right, so I have this tub right here and we're gonna put the fish in there uh, when we catch it so we can get a better look at them because it's kind of hard to see exactly what this is on the fish. There he is right there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I could definitely tell that it's some sort of tumor. Now, what's funny is he's definitely had this tumor ever since I got him because I went back and looked at some of my old videos and I could tell in the video that he's, he, yeah, he has this tumor and I just noticed it. I think that's really funny how I just noticed it. All right, guys, we're gonna throw you on the chest mount and we're gonna try and net this guy out of here. And hopefully we find out that this tumor is nothing crazy and he can, you know, he's gonna be okay. I got this pool net because I don't know, I feel like with a normal net, this will be a little tough. Uh, thankfully, the koi like me and they trust me, so they're, yeah, see, they're not gonna run away. Um, this might still be a little tough. Hopefully, yeah, I, like I said, hopefully he doesn't go over there where the lily pads are. Oh, he knows I'm chasing him now. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm trying to help you out, man. Yeah, just get in the net. Oh, oh, I almost had him. Oh. oh, I didn't get him, I thought I had him. There he is, he's right down there. Come on, he's not too quick. Oh, there we go, we got him, we got him. There we go, awesome. All right, here we go, we got the koi. What is this? What is that? Holy crap, look at the size of that molly. I had no idea that was in there. That is a wild molly right there. I had no clue that was in there, dude. That thing's massive. That's the biggest molly I've ever seen. All right, well, you go back to, to doing your thing. All right, here we go. We got our koi in the net. We're gonna keep them in the water. Uh, oh my gosh, dude, that tumor is huge. Look at that. Oh man, that is bad. Look at the size of that tumor, man. It's okay, buddy. Look at the size of that tumor. Oh, this poor guy. Look at that, man. There, you can see it right there. That big lump, that's like a tumor of some sorts. Oh, man. Jeez. That doesn't look good, man. But it doesn't look like he's he's really affected by it. I mean, oh, I don't know. If you guys have any idea on what this is, let me know. We're going to go ahead and get this guy into the tub so we can get a better look at him. we go all right you hang in there okay so yeah as you could tell that is definitely a tumor of some sorts look at that oh my gosh man i don't know what to do i've seen some people on youtube they have uh some of their fish they had something that looked kind of like this and they like 
they like popped it and I don't know what it did, but it fixed it. So it might just be like a big air bubble or something, but I don't know if it's that or if it's like cancer or some other tumor. I'm not gonna do anything to them right now, but if you guys are any like fish experts and you have, you know, any idea on what this is, and how I can treat them and, and make them better. Let me know in the comments because, yeah, I definitely don't want this guy to die. He's one of my favorite koi. I mean, look at the colors. He's a beautiful fish, but he's lasted this long, so maybe it's not life-threatening. Maybe it just makes him swim a little funky, but you know, if it's not anything crazy, he's doing good. It doesn't seem like it's affecting him, so yeah, you never know. But it's definitely, I can feel it. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It feels like, man, it feels like a big bubble, like a big bubble of air. Yeah, beautiful koi. It's, it's cool to see him like out of the water. So yeah, I think he's had this tumor or whatever it is ever since I got him. I ordered this guy online. And if I look back at the, you know, other videos from a while back, I can, I can tell that he had this tumor. So whatever it is, he's had it for probably all his life or at least most of it. Yeah, here he is guys. Let's get a little closer look at it. So if you guys have any idea on what that tumor is, let me know. I definitely don't want this guy to die. Also, we have never named any of the fish in the koi pond. Um, just because there's so many koi and goldfish that it would be kind of hard for me to keep track of all the names. But since this guy is special and he gets his own video because he's got a little tumor, we're going to go ahead and name him after I think over a year of having him. We're finally going to give him a name. So. If you guys have any name suggestions, let me know in the comments and I'll pick out a name and in the next video, I'll, I'll shout you guys out. Hopefully the viewers have some good news for you, buddy, but we're gonna let you back into the pond. There he goes. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, he eats fine, he swims fine. I mean, he, he looks a little funny when he swims, but that's, that's okay. While we're out here, let's do a little update on the uh, African cichlid fountain. This is like a a little fountain where we have some of the baby African cichlids that we hatch. One of our cichlids in the tank in my room always has babies and we always just put them in here and they're doing really good. I think we got about 50 babies. Look, there they are. You can see them swim around in there. Yeah, they love it in here. Oh, there's one. They're thriving. There they, there's a couple right there. Those are the very small ones. Those are the new ones we put in here. We also have some bigger ones. Oh, look at all of them right there. Oh, there was a bigger one. They can go inside there. And that's usually where they hang out but all i think about 50 of them they're all doing very good all right guys check it out we got a lizard right here and we have brandy and brandy and they are very hungry so we're going to do the first ever underwater feeding of randy and brandy we're going to put the camera underwater and we're going to feed them some lizards and i think it will be really cool to see them attack underwater so here we go for bruiser there you are buddy here you go please don't take my hand off oh okay there we go all right guys so by the time this video actually comes out we will have hit a hundred thousand subscribers here on youtube we're about a hundred away as i'm filming this and we're probably gonna hit it by today so by the time this video comes out we'll be there so yeah guys a hundred thousand subscribers thank you so much for all the support i love making these videos and you know it really makes me happy that you guys love watching them so we're gonna keep going, 200,000 subscribers next. Yeah, never would I have ever thought that, you know, when I made this channel, I would have 100,000 subscribers. So that's awesome, guys. We're gonna keep going. We got some crazy stuff lined up. Some really cool fish that we're trying to catch to put in, you know, these ponds. It's been a lot of work, but we're gonna get them soon and we're gonna get them in here. Some really rare fish. It's just gonna be awesome. And down the line, I wanna, you know, build some more ponds around here. It's just gonna be sick, dude. We got so much room back here in the backyard. Like this whole line could be pool ponds if we really wanted it to. But yeah, if you guys still aren't subscribed, what are you doing? Go down there and hit the subscribe button. We're on the road now to, I guess, 200,000. Forrest Gump right here. Look at that cutie. Oh my God, Bruiser, chill out, dude. Look at all the snails that just came up. All right, you go back to eating your lettuce. See so yeah, guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.